Hey there, boys, girls, and squirrels. My name is Modstep, but welcome back to uh, to the Giant Castle Let's Build series of things and stuff. Now, um, I don't have a huge amount of time before we get ready for work here. I know it's a, it's a very common sentiment, isn't it? It's horrible. It's blame. It's poopy. But there is a couple things I wanted to do. Now, first and foremost, I wanted to really kind of take care of this. And what I kind of want to do is I kind of want to build an archway. So there might be some creative uh, liberties taken here. But what I essentially want them to do is kind of end. Let's see. I want them to kind of end at the same level. So let's go straight back just to see where we're at. It's probably here, if we're being honest. Yeah. Pretty confident it's here anyways. Yeah. It, it's, it's here. And I'm just going to do this just for a placekeeper. Um... On both sides now uh, I want to be able to finish this as well as the garden in the back um, so I'm planning on this being like a let's say a 20 minute video ish thereabouts that way we can get ourselves on the way and eventually uh, we'll go ahead and get ourselves into the whole uh, second tier and third tier making things look pretty again but this is what we're gonna do because having these half buildings here it's driving me a little bonkers so what I think I'm gonna do is go ahead and just bring this guy straight out so like boop look at that we've started already progress quicker than anything I've ever done before progress uh, so we're gonna go ahead and do this and then we're gonna to essentially take it up like this as well now I don't know why I took these blocks all the way out because well frankly I didn't really need to but you know what sometimes when I get rambling I just do things because things need done not because I'm good at it. Um, but but we're going. We're going. We're going to make the thing. So I'm going to build this guy up. Kind of build this peak. And I'm going to build kind of a peak up and into this region as well. Um, it, we'll see how it works. But I'm hoping it'll climb right up and kind of come dead even with this guy. And I might need to make it a, a shallower of an incline for us. But we're going to go ahead and get that portion of things filled in. Because all we're doing is just following the curves that have been put before us already so we're just following the peak line of all these roofs and when I get to the middle one we'll go ahead and jump cut to that but for now if you're following along go ahead and just finish the peaks and bring them back see you guys when we get there already and we have returned after much longer time than I expected. But that's the usual here on this particular channel because I am not efficient in anything. So well, all I did was I just literally took these peaks back. Now, I debated on whether I wanted to go ahead and take the center fold back because I'm not sure, like, it bums me out that this is not covered. And there's really no good way that I can find of doing it. I mean, we could do something like this, I guess. Yeah. What do we What do we think of that? I mean, I think that works. I'm going to go ahead and go with that route just so that uh, this guy is covered because it drives me a little bonkers to have just two covered. It's just a little silly. I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but it's it's just silly when you can make it look so darn nice. Anywho, so we just brought those peaks back. And all we did underneath was we put staircases. That way it made it feel a little bit more gradual. Kind of has that peaked roof, peaked ceiling line. And I just put a couple torches down here. So we'll uh, we'll set the we'll set it to nighttime real quick for you. That way we can get an idea. Um, so it's just starting nighttime, but you have like the dusk going on here. And as it gets darker, you'll see that it just really brights up in here. I'm not a hundred percent a fan of these torches because, well, I just don't know if it'll work. And frankly, what I'm debating on doing, honestly, here is bringing this back. And so I think what we're going to do is on camera, we're going to try it just to see how it looks, you know, just see how it looks. And we're going to go ahead, since you can only see one. That's, that's all we're going to destroy, right? Just just the one. All right. And what, what we could do, I don't know. I kind of like it. But what I would want to do here is I would want to even, I would kind of want to even the playing field out. Because I just think it'll look really, really cheesy 
if we don't. So I will do that here. Now this is the part where I always have a little bit of a hard time. Like, do I keep this on camera? Is this something people want to see? Because I mean, ultimately it's just kind of, it, it really is just placing blocks. Like there's nothing special about it, even in the slightest. But you know what? We're gonna live the dream this time. And, and you guys will be brave enough to tell me if it's stupid and you don't like it. So I'm counting on you, okay? I'm counting on you to be truthful. Tell me what you like, what you don't like, and what you want to see next. <laughs> Shameless. Shameless plugging. All right. So we are almost done filling this in. And this is like the, this is something that I'm sure there are more efficient builders than me in Minecraft on this particular um, area, but I just kind of, I'm a trial and error kind of person, okay? I don't do well when it comes to like figuring out the structures of Minecraft and how they work and whatnot. Um, it does kind of square it off underneath here a little bit more if we come through here, but it really, really does look like a hallway. And I kind of like that. Uh, so we're going to do that on this wall as well. And I'm just going to go ahead and jump cut when we're done since you guys already saw the process the first time. All right, second one is done. So as you're kind of walking down this hallway, you kind of get this this effect. And I really, I do truly like that. And I think what I might honestly do is, I know it sounds sketchy, but I like the idea of this kind of being an outside hallway. So what we're going to do is we're going to basically get rid of all this free space that I was super concerned about building in the first place. It's all good. It's all good. We're all happy. It's a good time. And by getting rid of the free space, I mean, what I'll do is I'll just make it a door and make it a storage room. <laughs> just make it like a storage closet. All right. So now what I think I'm going to do from this point is we're just going to just gonna do this now this is the spot that gets a touch bit awkward because well here's the dealio friendios we got to uh, figure out a way to make this all pretty full and beautiful with all the dum-dums that I have made and by dum-dums I mean this is something that I should have done right out the gate but we all know and I've said it once before in this episode I am horrible at planning. Whoops, wrong one. Wrong one, Devin. Wrong one. Big, big daddy. Yeah, look at that. I love how it fills in now. I know there used, there was a time, um, at least if I remember correctly, there was definitely a time where, well, it just didn't fill in and it looked hideous and it was gross and it hurt my face. Made me a sad boy. But it is what it be though, right? It is what it be. Maybe I'm incorrect, because I know they always kind of snapped on an angle. That T-bracket thing did kind of throw me off a little bit. Maybe I just placed it kind of weird, you know? Is what it be? Is? Son of a turd nugget, Devin. What do you... What? No, 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 you don't, little guy. No, 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 you don't. All right, I think I might go ahead and just even it off there. Because, well, frankly, it doesn't really matter too awful much. And I don't want to get it to the point where it's, like, so stupid tall that I can't deal with it at all. But um, I rhymed, did you see me go there? I'm beautiful, I'm beautiful, I'm good at this. Eh, fortunately nobody will see this. <laughs> this is horrible building 101, okay? Horrible building 101. Oh, nobody will see it, it doesn't matter. Except I can see it, Devin, it matters to me. Okay, we're just doing it. I don't, I don't want these gaps, it's gonna drive me a little bonkers not gonna lie and it doesn't really change the elevation like if we're being honest with ourselves like it doesn't change the elevation at all quite frankly I could just use a block the whole way I don't know why I'm so picky about using these slabs yeah I don't know why I'm so picky about using these slabs here because I'm probably gonna have to f you, er, f rearrange and fix them to accommodate the fact that let's see we can go straight down the middle here Keep it a little bit more shallow of a peak. That way it's not anything too crazy or fanciful. Now on this back side, since it's just going to be a glorified storage facility, I don't think I need to be too concerned with it at all. 
And this is where building in the slabs becomes super awkward and we regret all of our previous decisions to do anything because now I have to place one full extra block that I wouldn't have had to place if I just put a big boy blockerinos. I like it. I like how it looks, okay? I do, I really do. But now here's the weird awkward catch. Since we don't need this technically anymore, I kind of think this is what I'm gonna do. Yep, I'm gonna be a little cheaty on this one. I'm sorry. But I think this will look just as nice. Hear me out now, hear me out now. It'll look just as nice, but I won't have to worry about filling in or destroying anything. It'll be great. All right, so we're gonna just do the upside down staircase just like we do on everything else, just to kind of round it out, round it out, make it look more rounded, you know? Come to that centralized peak and it kind of, it brings it down, you know, it brings it down. It gives it a little more color in this hallway in this boring, boring hallway. Speaking of, this is central, right? Boop, boop. Doors. That's right. Storage facilitoire. And boomerinos. Hey, it's a storage. It's open. Oh, no. It's horrible. Everything's gross. Oh, gosh, no. Boring storage facilities. All right. We're going to take care of this storage facility here really, really quickly. And then I will see you guys once we get that taken care of. All right. So... Plans have changed a little bit because we're a little further into the recording time than I thought I would be. So we got this all squared away and I know it hasn't been a huge project, but I like it. It looks nice. It's simple and quite frankly, nobody's going to be on the top to notice anything. But what I am going to do just to be a nice guy, that's right, I'm going to, how do I want to do this? We're going to slab it out. I'm just going to slab it out. You know, in case we build like a... Maybe like a second tier of this storage area. Not that we're going to want to do that now that we have slabs everywhere. But I want to fill this guy out. It's just, I know nobody's going to be up here and see it. But if the odd chance that somebody flies around and like, oh my gosh, that's unfinished. That's not how it would be in real life. Well, for you, sir or madam, we're in Minecraft, okay? It isn't real life. Uh, <laughs> anyways, now that we got that, okay, not going to work the way I anticipated it. All right, golden. So now we got a little bit of a platform and it makes a little bit more sense. We're gonna go ahead and take care of this. It's just going to be like an armory, I think is what I'm gonna do. Now the first thing to take care of is, I want to put some scaffolding because I'm pretty sure, yeah, you can place lamps on it. And I'm just gonna kind of place these guys willy nilly. Diddly, diddly do. And I think I'm gonna put them on the outside edge actually. Yeah, that's gonna look nice. These are kind of like the bookkeeping places and we actually have some, where are we at? Now, let me see how this piston looks here real quick. Like, let's throw like a piston. No, there we go. Yeah, we're gonna create some of that kind of stuff and then we have like the crafting tables as well that I think we will. Gotta figure out how far down they are, but we're gonna grab some of these crafting tables, these fancy boys. Where are you at, new stuff? I know you're here somewhere. I can smell it. I can smell it. Mmm. All right. So now, now that the cringe is out of the way, what did I do with my life? All right. All right. All right. All right. Devin, get a hold of yourself, okay? Get a hold of yourself. I don't think we need a lectern in here, do we? Maybe. Maybe we do because Devin can't find anything. Observer, interesting. I keep finding new things every single time I play this game. All right, well, we have a jukebox, we have a f furnace, but here we go, here we go. So they're all gonna be under decoration blocks for whatever reason. I think what we'll do is we'll put a loom in here, we'll have a smithing table, We'll have a grindstone. Um, I'm not worried about the stone cutter per se, but I do want to kind of put a blast furnace um, in here. Let's see. And I think we're good. I think I think that's good. We could. Oh, we should probably put a fletching table because that's going to make a lot more sense and choreographed. All right. So I kind of want to put a couple of these smithing tables like right there next to that guy. We'll just throw a couple looms to make it look a little bit more industrial. 
And then what I kind of want to do is put like a like like three of these guys next to each other make it look kind of like hello graphical glitch um kind of make it look like it's kind of a blueprint or a, a map plan of you know i don't know battle strategy battle strategy and what we will do is in the back side we will put a handful of these barrels actually i'm gonna oh Devin, what'd you do that for okay getting a little too excited over here well i think i'm done with these barrels so I just want to get a stack of barrels back here, and we will do a couple armor stands. Nice. Look at us go. Look at us go. Armor stands, boys. And then a blast furnace. Um, we can actually probably build that into a wall, couldn't we? I don't know. I kind of like how it looks there. So we're just going to fill this bad boy up. We're just going to make it look like it's an actual armory. Now, I am missing the fletching table, but what we can do is... Let's just throw it there, like right in the front. So as soon as somebody walks in, they can fletch things and, and do what they need to. We have the smithing oops, smithing tables. Pistons, just because they make things look a little nicer. Like it's a, it kind of adds on to the crafting table, you know, like the wooden sides. A loom, because, well, maybe they'll craft some cloth stuff. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But we're going to go in here and do some armor. I think what we're going to do is we're going to have a set of the uh, chain mail. And then we're going to have a set of the Diamande Aru Diamandes. And we are going to put the diamond on the right side because that's what happens. Boop. Yes. Chainmail. 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 Now I forgot. Can you put swords? Let's go ahead and let's try it. Let's try it. We're going to do steel. We're going to give it a shot. And nope. Oh, well. So we have, we're gonna clear this bad boy out. Golden, look at us go. All right, so we are done with the armory. I know I said I wasn't gonna do like interior stuff right out the gate, but I kind of wanted to. So what we're gonna do here to kind of, yeah, make it look a little bit more, I don't know, like old timey, I guess, so to speak, uh, is we, uh, well, have this. Isn't it beautiful? It's so great grandioso and I don't really want to start climbing down because then we're just gonna we're gonna have a bunch of unnecessary stuff just to be unnecessary I can overlook our giant patio area so we didn't accomplish as much as I was hoping in this video but we did get the peaks we got the roof lines taken care of and I really like how that looks I like when things come together like that it really gives you a lot of depth when it comes to levels and I think I've been finding more and more and more that multiple levels in a build really creates this sense of awe and wonder that you wouldn't have otherwise yeah but uh i think we'll we'll get to the get to the gar or the uh, swimming pool area in the next episode of this minecraft build series but let me know what you guys think do you like having these roof lines here do you like this hallway i know this hallway makes this armory room look so much bigger and maybe we could throw something like down into um into one of these rooms because essentially this is just like a just like a tower it's just here it's just here to be here this does drive me a little bonkers i might actually have to fix that but uh we'll, we'll wait till next episode you know maybe maybe we want to go ahead and throw something up here from the armory maybe come up like one of these side walls or whatnot and then just have some like hangout spaces or whatnot going on here i don't know we'll figure that out when we get there but for the time being thank you guys so much for joining me in today's episode remember liking commenting and subscribing are all great tools for you to get in touch with me let me know what you liked didn't like and what you want to see next we still have yet to vote on these i like the pop of this but that just matches. So I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, so I'm waiting for your guys' glorious input there. And then we'll change it on this side as well with whichever one you guys think looks best. But it's coming along quite nicely. Like, I'm, I'm happy for my first really, really big build completely by myself. No guidance. No tick. Tip, no ticks uh, well that too no tricks or tips um, it's just kind of me looking at a building being inspired and then just going for it I'm happy I'm happy so far there's a couple stuff in the middle area that I'm looking forward to fixing making it look a little bit more bright and lively kind of like what we have down here um, and then 
up on top, it actually looks decent. Um, we still have to figure out how the windows look. I really like this design, so I think that's what we're just going to replicate here. And then we're going to leave that backside open as well and just replicate that design. And then on this one, I really do like the idea of this guy over here. It's just, it's more defined. It's less like, oh, hey, it's kind of a wave, but then we had to change it. And I don't know. I just like how defined those are. So we're going to go with those designs um, and we'll fix that up in the next episode. But I have rambled far too long in this outro. Remember, I love you guys and we will see you next time. A toodles! Push.